The newest update to Sea of Thieves, Haunted Shores, has brought with it ghastly new ghost ships from the Sea of the Damned. Summoned by the powerful Captain Flameheart, these new ghost ship fleets are wreaking havoc across the Sea of Thieves. So in this video, I'm going to break down everything you need to know about these new enemies, and I'm doing it right now. Hey squad, Sykes here, and a kindly reminder if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a like, head over to Installation X and subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications of future uploads, and let's support the channel on the road to 1000 subs. So the important thing you need to know about these new ghost fleets is that there are two different types. You have your standard ghost fleets which you can access via voyages from the Order of Souls or the Bilge Rat, and you have the Fleet of the Burning Blade, Captain Flameheart's flagship which is a world event. We will start with standard ghost fleets first. There are two ways in which you can get to these fleets. If you are a new player to Sea of Thieves and haven't yet progressed to level 25 with the Order of Souls, you can purchase a ghost fleet voyage from Duke in the Tavern at any outpost. Simply speak to Duke, browse the black market and on the first page you will see a fleet voyage that you can purchase for free. If however you have progressed to level 25 or beyond with the Order of Souls, you can purchase an upgraded voyage from the faction. My recommendation is if you've reached level 25 or higher with the Order of Souls, purchase that quest instead of the Bilge Rats voyage. Now once you have voted for your voyage, you will be sent to an island where you will be able to find your ghost fleet. Now be warned, the ghost fleets can activate well in advance of your arrival at the marked island, so as there is nothing stopping other pirates on the seas from jumping in on the action. Now the special Flameheart fleet that includes the Burning Blade works differently. If Flameheart's fleet is active on your server, it will be marked with Flameheart's skull up in the sky similar to that of a skull fort. It's very clear with its ashen colours and is hard to miss. Now what is different here is that as Flameheart's fleet is a world event, anyone can roll up and decide to take it out. So don't dally around too much as another crew may beat you to it or the fleet can despawn after a period of time. Now when you eventually come up against the ghost fleet, you will be met with some very unique challenges, something that haven't yet been seen in Sea of Thieves. You will face several waves of ghost ships which can number up to 10 ships in a single wave. Now the ghost fleet has a pretty significant advantage with strength in numbers. However, the ghost ships are weak and fragile and can be easily destroyed with anywhere between 3 to 5 cannon shots. When you defeat a ghost ship, you will be met with an explosion which you need to be careful of as it can cause damage to your hull. Whilst you are fighting ghost ships, you will be met with a barrage of new cannonballs. These are phantom cannonballs, flaming phantom cannonballs and wraith cannonballs. The phantom and flaming cannonballs work the same as standard cannonballs and firebombs. However, the wraith cannonballs can deal a large amount of damage knocking your ship off course and dealing several holes to your hull at once, so you need to be careful of these. The other weapon of the ghost ships you need to be mindful of are the mines they drop from the rear leaving several ghostly bombs floating around in the water, so watch out. Once you have taken out a number of ghost ships, you will eventually be met with the final wave that has a flagship. This ship can be easily spotted with its full striped sails, unlike the torn sails of the other ghost ships. Now when you are taken on Flameheart's fleet, this flagship will be the Burning Blade, which will feature black sails with the flaming heart of fire in the centre. Now the flagship of the fleet isn't as fragile as the other ghost ships. The flagship of a standard fleet requires around 10 to 15 cannonballs to defeat it, whereas the Burning Blade seems to require 15 to 20 cannonballs to sink it, so make sure you are accurate. When you have successfully defeated a ghost ship, there is a chance it will drop loot. This loot is rather special as it is damned loot. Now some ships can drop storage crates of the damned, which are filled with planks and cannonballs to help you continue on in your battle, so make sure you snap these up as these are very very useful. Any damned loot that is dropped by a ghost ship is identified by three spectral ghosts hovering above the location of the loot in the water. Now when you take out the flagship of a fleet, this is where the big loot can be found with more loot being dropped by the Burning Blade. You can get your hands on anything from skulls and captain skulls of the damned, chests of the damned and ashes of the damned which can each be sold to their respective factions or to the servant of the flame at reaper's hideout for your reaper's bones progress. Now taking out the Burning Blade will give you a unique reward a cannonball crate of the damned which contains phantom, flaming phantom and wraith cannonballs to be fired at other ships across the seas for commendation progress. Taking down the burning blade 10 times will unlock you the burning blade sails and defeating 500 ghost ships in total will unlock you the ghost captain sails as your ultimate rewards for your numerous battles. Well squad I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. If you did then please make sure you leave a like, you head over to Installation X and subscribe and you hit that bell for notifications of future uploads and support the channel on the road to 1000 subs.
Let me know your thoughts on the Haunted Shores update in the comments section. Follow myself and the channel on social media with links in the description. And as always, I'm Sykes, and for more on Sea of Thieves and all things Xbox, stay tuned to Installation X. Bye guys.